Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus card read, which is going to be for whoever needs it. If you really want to know what is the major thing happening in your love life in coming week time, this reading will definitely help you know that. What is the major change that you're going to experience in your love life this week, the coming week, whenever you're watching this read, seven days onwards to that. So stay tuned, Hanna. Before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. What major shift is taking place for you in your love life in coming one week time? We don't have the justice card. I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, you are definitely, definitely craving for justice. I really feel like, you know, you might have been feeling like, you know, you are dealing with someone who is uh, um, definitely, or maybe you have dealt with all the people in the world who are not loving, available emotionally. I really feel like, you know, you might have been with people who have always been there in your life for their own pleasure and for all, for their own happiness. When it comes to fulfilling your needs, fulfilling your desires, fulfilling your emotion, emotional needs, I really feel like you might have been suffering. You really want the justice in your situation. You really want somebody in your life who could give you love, affection that you might have been giving to others. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, the justice that you desire in love is going to come through. If you are completely single and you're demanding justice in regards to that, where you want somebody in your life who, who you can call your own, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, that justice is going to be done. But before you could have it, there is some sort of a thought process or mi mindset that you have to leave behind. I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you who are single and willing to have a relationship, I really feel like, you know, there is a negative notion that you might have attached to love. Once you get over it, you will see your love life moving forward. So make sure that you do the inner work if you don't have a specific someone in your love life. Um, now, I really feel like, you know, for those of you who are dealing with a specific someone and waiting for the justice, waiting for the commitment, waiting for the love, the chances are very high that you might get that love coming your way during this uh, coming week time. I really feel like uh, for some of you, your intuition is going to be very much on point regarding a specific someone or a situation that you're dealing with in love. For some of you, I really feel like, you know, you might feel that there is strong love coming your way. A love that, that you have dreamt of, desired of, you might have that um, divine knowing that something good is going to happen in my life. If you are one of those, trust me, the justice is going to be served to you during this coming week time for you in your life. For some of you, you could be water signs or dealing with a water sign. Um, and I really feel like, you know, this person is going to be emotionally available to you as well. There won't be any block in this connection is what I'm picking up. Your love life is going to be moving ahead in that, in that uh, direction or phase where you are not going to have any issue. You will have divine support with you in regards to your love life scenarios. Let's see more cards here. <clears throat> For some of you. I have to say it out because I really feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe your love life with a specific someone is not moving forward and there is a reason which is going to get, which is going to get revealed to you during this coming week time in your life. And I feel like, you know, um, the reason could be third party situation and you are going to be thankful to the divine that, okay, this didn't work out because of this. So I'm very, very, very grateful. So I really feel like, you know, something is also going to get revealed to some of you around the person that you're dealing with, which is also going to set you free from your expectations that you were having towards them. Um, let's see. Knight of Pentacles. I really feel like, you know, somebody is going to get attracted to you, uh, sitting um, and then looking at you. This person could be somebody at your work front. This person can be somebody at your, you know, at the places where you go on a regular basis, maybe some cafes, maybe some, um, you know, coffee shops or something like that. Um, this person has been seeing you um, lately and I really feel like, you know, this person is going to feel attracted towards you. So there is a love and attraction coming your way. There is a lot of uh, people who are going to be like willing to talk to you, getting to know you better and uh, things like that. These um, situations that I see developing are going to be like um, very... Um, very smooth where you would not have to do much of the effort is what i'm picking up so let's see and i feel like you know for those of you who are completely single maybe somebody who's gonna like you a lot 
is going to approach you. Maybe it's going to be a love at first sight for them. And uh, they are going to be telling you that. Let's see more cards here. What else is coming in for you in your love life? What major thing is going to take place for you in your love life during this coming week time? Anything specific that my viewers need to know? What else is coming in? What else is coming in? There is somebody who's keeping an eye on you, for sure. There is somebody out there who's keeping an eye on you. But for some of you, I really feel like um, maybe there's a chance that this person is not going to approach you. It can be uh, an ex of yours as well who's keeping an eye on you, what you are up to, what you're doing and everything. They might be reaching out to you, probably not this coming week time. Maybe they are going to take some more time because we do have the hangman underneath the deck. So I really feel like, you know, if you can sense that justice is about to come through for you as well, yes, there will be coming in uh, the communication coming from a person or a specific new person is going to enter in your life. But if you feel that, no, you're still not getting what you want, then you have to do the inner work. Once the inner work is done, you will see that this person is going to be taking action towards you. Your love life is no longer going to be staying stuck because there will be movement, fast movement coming for you in your love life and uh, after probably one, one week time. So let's see the some more cards to see what else is coming in for you. What else major is going to take place in your love life in one week time from now? <clears throat> Happy family. So for some of you, um, I really feel like you're being guided towards that direction where the, the, you know, the person that you're designed to be with is going to be a part of your life. So I really feel like, you know, you might meet somebody new. Um, you might reconcile with somebody. You might uh, start having a new journey with, with this person who's going to be the one for you. I really feel like you know, there's a lot of appreciation coming your way. There's a lot of financial abundance coming your way. You are definitely embarking on a new journey in love for sure, for majority of you. And I really feel like all is going to change. All is going to take place in your love life within one month time. I really feel like you know, one month is going to be the, the coming one month is going to be very quick with lots of energies taking place in your love life, a lot would be happening. You will be getting a lot of love and appreciation coming from someone specific, probably the one that you want, probably somebody completely new, but there will be a lot taking place for you in your love life. Um, let's take the Oracle guidance for you for one week time from now. What is it that you need to do? What is it that you stop? Uh, you need to stop doing to have what you truly desire? Let's tap into that. <clears throat> What is it that you are doing and what is it that you need to do to have your love life moving in the right direction? What is it? What is it? What is the guidance for my viewers for this read? What do they need to do and what do they need to stop doing to have what they truly desire? Try to manage and be glad. Wow, we have three cards actually. So let's start with the first one here. It says manage to be glad. Create your own happiness regardless of conditions. So again, try not to depend on anyone for your happiness. Uh, don't depend on your love life for your happiness. Create your own happiness. Try to be more happy and glad about your life overall. Be grateful as well. Try to bring some change in your heart towards the life that you're living right now. I want to be a queen, stating your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing the test. If you want to be the queen or a king, for that matter of fact, um, you have to act a certain way, behave a certain, sorry, behave a certain way. Um, for instance, if you really want to be married, if you really want to be, you know, their wife or husband, you have to start believing that that is possible. You know, that is what 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 can happen. If you don't have the uh, belief that it can happen, then the chances are going to be very less for it to happen. So you have to have very much confidence in yourself and uh, you've got to state that you are the one for them. You can use affirmations to make yourself believe that. Um, you can purchase affirmations from me if you want, but you can make your own affirmations too. But you cannot get what you want when you feel that you cannot have it. So you have to change your belief around it. Um, it's time to talk sense. I feel like you know, for majority of you, you might have been giving so much importance and value to nonsense. Um, things that have no reality. Maybe your mind has created some stories or negative belief system. You've got to kind of like you know, cut them out. 
if you want to receive love, you have to believe that love is there, love is real. Uh, you know, your notions that you might have attached to love needs to be changed and replaced with something positive to receive that love. Even if you are dealing with someone specific in that situation too, if you change your belief around it, and uh, maybe, maybe you have always been telling yourself, oh, they never have time for me, they never reply me back. You got to start forming, oh my God, I always receive million messages from this person, whoever it is. Name the person and say that affirmation. Trust me, your communication with that person is going to improve. Um, so make sure that you change your belief around certain things that you're experiencing in your love life to experience the change that you desire to happen in your love life. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe. If you are willing to purchase affirmations or any other help to manifest what you desire with your person, check the description box for the services that I offer. Till I do the next reading, take care. Bye.